Today, we are going to be testing something brand new from Anthropic that just dropped. It's called Claude in Chrome. It's a new browser agent. They can actually see your screen, click buttons, fill out forms, take actions inside your browser. Now, I want to be clear up front with testing this right now. I haven't had a ton of time with it yet. So we're going to explore what it can do together. No hype, just real testing. Here's what we're covering today, what this browser agent can actually do, how it's different from other AI tools you might be using, whether it can actually automate real business tasks, if this changes how entrepreneurs should be thinking about AI and real examples will be building life together. And the big question everyone wants answered, can this thing actually save time in your business or is it just another shiny new tool? We're about to find out. Let's dive in, peeps. So you can see here we've got Claude and the new announcement for Claude working inside your browser. So you can navigate, click buttons, fill forms in your browser, works with Claude code and Claude desktop available in beta to all paid users. And then you can click this button and get access to it. If you want all the links from today, feel free to get it inside the AI Success Lab free community, nearly 40,000 people inside there, links in all the notes from today inside there, right? So as we go through, you can see the end user inside, for example, called code. You've got it inside everyday tools, background tasks, etc. So you can actually work in the background. You can also use your calendar and everything like that, which is pretty cool. And also we've got background tasks right here, right? So you can give it like ideas to do. Looks a little bit like perplexity in the way that the AI browser is just using your browser in the background. And then you can speed up like everyday tasks. So for example, you could pull in metrics from dashboards and that is actually something super useful. I'm interested to see that in a sec. You got the ability to organize files in Drive, prepare and plan from your calendar, compare products across size, log sales calls, clean up promotional emails, boom shakalaka. This looks really cool. So let's see how it goes. We're gonna start testing this out. You can see here it's piloted in Claude, right? And then you can install the Chrome browser. Once you get the Chrome browser, it's gonna look like something like this the first time that you authorized it. We're gonna click on authorize now, and then we should be able to get access to that. All right, so you can see the browser extension is a beta feature with risks. Just use it safely. If you wanna use it on a separate computer, for example, might not be a bad idea if you just wanna play it safe. And then you can see here, for example, you can look through your emails and organize them. You can also, for example, like find apartments, find available times, summarize and generate action items. It's kind of like an AI super agent. Subscribe, unsubscribe from unwanted email chains. Find restaurants and add items. Convert leads into sales opportunities. Pretty nice, all right? Let's have a look at that one. That, looks, that sounds really cool. All right, so you can actually like respond and reply to people in the background, chase them up, etc. right? And so we're gonna get straight into this and we'll see how it works, all right? So we've got Claude over here. And then if we open this up, we've got the Chrome browser. We're gonna click on next, next, let's go. Okay, and then we can actually have two different options here. So it looks like we've got ask before acting where Claude aligns on its approach before taking its actions or act without asking, right? So you can literally just go off and do stuff, which is pretty crazy. Here, we can actually teach Claude as well. And then we can add, like for example, screenshots or add an image as a reference inside here too. So it seems like fairly straightforward to use. Super simple to set up. It was like a one-click setup. And then from here, we can start using this boy. We'll see how this performs. We're going to go from here. We've got a couple of people on. So I'm here and ready. Hopefully we start soon. We have started. Good morning, Julian and the gang. Good to see you. And if you have any questions as we go along, feel free to ask whilst we're live so that we help you as much as we can. We can also clear the chat over here and we can convert stuff to tasks. So I assume like you can probably automate tasks using the Chrome browser. And in the settings here, you can even allow microphone access. So you can allow this inside Chrome so that you can actually give it like voice examples. And then you got shortcuts as well. So you can create shortcuts or you can just run stuff on schedule, which is pretty cool as well. So let's try, let's see what we could do with this. So we're going to go inside here and we'll say, okay, create a new Google doc, writing an SEO blog post about SEO training. Japan. Like just see if that works. All right. So now you can see that it's, we're going to, it's giving us a plan. So it's like, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to navigate to Google doc. Then we're going to create a new blank document. Then we're going to write an SEO blog post about SEO training in Japan with sections covering introduction, benefits, key topics, and conclusion. But we can make changes to the plan if we want to, or we can approve the plan. So let's just approve the plan. And then you can see this is split, right? So we've got it opening up Google Docs over here, and then we have the main task. So we can click between those if you see, and we can open up what it's doing. And you can see here, it's just opening up a Google Doc in the background. We can actually set up notifications once this is done. So we'll actually send you a notification once it's finished creating. And now it's beginning to generate the response. It's actually using the AI to generate the blog itself, as you can see. 
this is incredible how easy it works as well. Can we potentially use it to chat with people and attract leads on Instagram and Facebook? Potentially you can. I think you gotta be careful with that sort of stuff, but potentially you could get it to answer your DMs and that sort of thing. It can definitely answer your emails. So I don't see why it can't answer your DMs and that sort of thing. And now we have the task done and that was absolutely wild how quick it was, right? So we can see here, for example, it's completed the full document. If we zoom out a little bit here, you can see on the left-hand side, we have all the tasks, and then we have the full blog post fully automated in the background whilst I was just talking to you, right? And the AI agent just went off and did its magic. Now we could say, okay, change this. So it's written like Alex Hormozy plus certainly funnels traffic throughout the blog post to this page. And let's see if that works. All right. So we're going to see if it can actually edit the blog as well. It's now said it's going to rewrite the blog post, incorporate subtle CTAs, maintain the SEO training doc, have compelling hooks, pain points, and curiosity gaps, and encourage clicking through to the strategy session link. Let's click approve plan and see what it can do. All right. So it looks like it's actually going through there and beginning to do this, which is pretty amazing. All right. So here's a real story behind this tool. Here's what happened. Anthropic just released this to all paid cord users after testing it for months. And before this, if you wanted an AI to actually do stuff in your browser, you have to use a computer use feature. It was clunky. We have to manually copy and paste between Cloud and your browser all day, very messy. Now we've built this extension that sits right inside Chrome. It can see what's on the screen, read forms, click buttons, navigate pages, the same stuff you're doing manually every single day. And here's what's changed for me personally. You can use this for automating all sorts of tasks for my new agency, for the AI profit boardroom. Now I'm testing if this thing can actually just do that entire workflow without me touching it. And I'm not going to lie to you. There's a learning curve here. You have to set permissions, right? You have to give it clear instructions. And honestly, I'm still figuring out what works and what doesn't. But as you can see right here, it's pretty amazing. And if we had a look at the old way, it was like you write from the chat, GPT or cord, you copy the response, you open your browser, you go back to the AI for the next step, you repeat this 50 times a day, you lose two to three hours just moving data around, you forget what you're even trying to do, right? The new way, the new automated workflow is you tell Claude what you want done, opens the right tabs, fills out the forms, navigates between pages, completes the entire workflow, you review the results, you get back to actual business work and you save hours every single day. Pretty amazing. All right. So let's see what else we can do here. I'm actually, I'm tempted to do something interesting. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the AI profit border and I'm going to see if it can actually take the posts from here and plug them in to a Google sheet, right? And organize them neatly into a tracker that tracks the community, etc. It tracks the community posts, what they're about. All right. So we're going to take, basically what my plan is here is like, I want to, I'll take the posts from the air profit boarding community. Right. And then I'm going to plug them into a Google sheet that organizes the posts. Right. So let's see if you can do that. We're running it now. I just want to test if it's got limitations as well. So let's navigate to the school community page, extract the posts, create a new sheet, set up the tracker, populate it, and then format the sheet. All right. So let's see if you can do that. So you can see it's now navigating over there. Right. So it's navigated to my school page. It's viewing the school community post. You can actually read the page and see what's going on and all that sort of thing, right? It's opening up separate tabs for Google Sheets, right? So we're going to allow that. And it's going to open up a new Google Sheet over here, as you can see. Taking a screenshot of the page, clicking through it, and beginning to use this bad boy, right? So it's creating a new spreadsheet over here. Pretty amazing if this works. It's going to be absolutely mind-blowing. So it's created the Google Sheet, as you can see. And it says Claude is active in this tab group. So you can actually open up the chat and have a look. And then it's setting up the spreadsheet column headers. Right, so let's see what this does. Again, like I'm not doing anything, not touching anything, not writing anything. Let's see how it goes. And do you know what really blows my mind is like the speed and the accuracy at which I've never seen an AI agent do this. I've seen AI automation tools inside browsers before, but I've never seen anything that can navigate so accurately and quickly without errors. And as you've seen so far, we've not had a single step that's broken so far. And these are like tasks that I can only imagine if you tried to give this to a virtual assistant, like they might take a whole day to do this. It might take quite a long time. Whereas now it's like plugging this into a spreadsheet and it's beginning to fill this out. Now, if we actually have a look at the spreadsheet, all right, so it's taking the tasks, but it's not actually, let's see what it's doing here. Let's see, see how we're getting on. Adding more posts. Oh, absolutely flying. Look at that. It's flying through. The only thing that I don't like is it's not actually separated the post titles. It's just pasted in the whole data. All right. So I might have to stop it there and just say, listen, mate, what are we doing here? But I want to see if it actually, it seems to be formatting it better now. So I want to give it a bit of time and just see if it can actually figure this out first. Drax says it's trash. So far, it's been pretty impressive with the blog example, but let's see. What don't you like about it? I'd be interested to know. What do you think are its limitations? That will be good for everyone to know.
It's locating, it's filling in the colors on the tracker as well. Organizing the community post into the tracker. Try Opus. I think you can do it faster and immediately. Well, maybe we'll try Opus in a second. It says anti-gravity is bloated with tools and forgets everything. They took the 1 million context window, literally. We'll come on to that later. The thing that I don't like here is it's not really separated the columns. See how it's just plugged everything into one single thing like that. I'm going to say this is super messy. Everything is in one cell. You've not entered any data into column B, C, etc. It's all based in one cell. Equals not organized. Let's see if we can figure out. I actually have a bad feeling about this. I feel like it's not going to figure out. But we'll see how it goes. In the meantime, let's see if we can open up multiple tabs as well. So I'm going to say, go to Chachi and have a conversation about the meaning of life as an AI. So it's navigating to Chachi as you can see. So it can, he can directly use ChatGPT and other AIs, I think, and just have a conversation directly with it. Thanos says, this is crazy magic. I think for most people, this is going to blow their minds for sure. Like the fact that it can just interact with AI. So we've done three tests so far. Number one was creating blog posts, did that, no problem. Number two was creating a Google Sheet. And bear in mind, we've got two tasks running at the same time. So we've got Claude over here talking about the meaning of life with ChatGPT. And then over here, we have the spreadsheet being formatted, as you can see. And now it's doing it properly, right? It's actually beginning to populate this better, although not great. It's still failing. Look, look at that. It's put, look at all the content it's put into cell B2. It, it doesn't make any sense, but it's still talking with ChatGPT. Can Claude use, Claude Code use this feature as well? Yeah, Claude Code has that Chrome as well, so it can use this too. I'm going to skip the task there, but yeah, you get the point. Like it's, he's had a full conversation with ChatGPT. No problems there. It's gone back and forth with it. They're having a great time together. They're having a great time, my friend. Can Claude use this feature? Yeah, so you can use this inside Claude Code. Let's have a look on how to do that. It's been a while since I used Claude Code. All right. Is this feature only for Haiku? As far as I'm aware, it seems like I can't switch between them. So if I go on to... Here, I don't get the choice of chain. Maybe I can, but I just don't know how to. But it seems like I can only use Claude Haiku. There doesn't seem to be a way to change it. If I go to settings here, we've only got permissions and shortcuts. We don't have a way that we can change the AI that we're actually using. All right, let's get Claude Code running. We'll test this back way out. Thanos says, Opus is crazy expensive for them to run. So it makes sense. It's using Haiku and explains the bad results. The results are not bad, by the way. It's like two tasks out of three. It's just failed on the spreadsheet one because it just can't figure out how to separate the data and put them into it should be like cell d e f etc so i wouldn't use it for filling out forms honestly like it's, it seems like a total mess for extracting data but speaking of chat gpt creating google docs writing blog posts etc seems to do pretty well on that so let's see how it works on Claude code developers can use Claude code to build and test directly in chrome the integration enables faster iteration on browser based products. you can also use it on Claude desktop as well let's escape off that i'm going to say okay go to chrome create a new google doc and type up oh, an example blog post about SEO just to test if this works. It's a COI tool running from te terminal. Okay, it's not worth that at all. But look, it says I can open Chrome for you, but I cannot directly control the browser to navigate to Google Docs and type content there, which is annoying. It doesn't seem obvious how you connect it. Maybe it's better for just if you're coding something and then you need it to go to Chrome, etc. But it doesn't seem to work directly like that. Okay, great. So. It's failed on a couple of tasks there. Number one, it failed on the spreadsheet test. And then it also failed on the test where we wanted to go from called code to Google Docs inside our browser. So let's try something else now. I'm going to open up called desktop. All right. So you can see my screen here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We open up terminal here. We type in Claude. I can open up Claude. Click yes, continue. So this is called code that we're using. And then if we type in here, okay, go to Google Docs using your Chrome extension and create a new block. And then it says, I don't have a Chrome extension or the ability to control web browsers. So failed on that, which is weird. I thought it would just pick it up automatically. Let's try, maybe there's a shortcut for that or something you're supposed to time it, type in, but it doesn't seem to work for that. So this is called desktop that we're going to test out. Can you use called Chrome extension? And say so using called Chrome, go to Google Docs and create a new blog post. It says, I don't have the ability to control your browser or use the called Chrome extension. I can only interact with you through this chat interface. Okay, great. There must be a way, but it's not very obvious how you do it. It doesn't explain it on the website. Let's try something else. We'll just switch to Haiku. Just see if that can use it. So we've got connectors, what style, research, is it in our settings? I think this is good for you to see, so then you can see, okay, does it, is it easy to use or is it not easy to use? So control Chrome, do we have to install that? There we go. All right. So we go back, go back to new chat, control Chrome. So you can see now that's set up. So all you do is you just go to your settings, then you're going to go to 
extensions and set up control Chrome. Then in a new chat, I think we could probably use Opus 4.5 for this. Let's see. Yeah. So we can control Chrome with Opus 4.5 and it says Claude wants to open URL from control Chrome. Okay. Allow once, and then it's created a new blog post here. So this is a new Google doc. Let's see if it's going to work. And then I'll put, okay, do this. It's a little bit clunky if you're using Claude Opus, like you can see, I have to accept everything the first time I'm using it. I can select always allow, but I have to wait for the full blog to write out first. So I'm going to click on always allow now. And it says tool result could not be submitted. The request may have expired or the connection was interrupted. Not the best set. Now, is it going to work? It's magic. It's struggling. Looking good. It says the Chrome connection seems unstable. Oh, and then it says, let me create the blog post as a document file instead, which you can then copy into Google Docs so I can try the Chrome approach again. Not the best sir. Not the best, Sunshine. So just to recap here, it failed to do anything on Claude Code and it failed on desktop as well. Then it says, you can see browsers via ID like cursor or anti-gravity. They will definitely add it later on. Got to leave tinkering, happy tinkering, excited for this new update. Yeah, so honestly, from what I see, it's, it's, it works okay. But it's not going to replace like humans or your virtual assistants anytime soon. Like it's just not that good. It's failed on probably half the tasks. So it's failed with Claude desktop, failed with Claude code. It failed on the Google sheet test. The only thing it's really managed to do is speak to chat GPT. And also it's managed to write a blog post inside Google docs. All right. So it's okay, but it's not amazing. I probably won't be using it much at all. I do have some notes on it. So if you want to get those notes, you can get them inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments description. This is community with 39,400 members. I did just want to show you today, does it work or does it not? Is it useful or is it not? And honestly, from what I've seen, it's not that useful just yet. It's going to take a little bit of time. All right. So I've shown you how to get access. If you want to get all the video links from today, you can get that inside the Claude AI browser agent section here. We've got useful links. We've got the four video notes on exactly how to use this, some homework assignments, etc. If you want to implement this inside your browser, you can. And that's basically how you can use it. I'm going to close these tabs. Very clunky, not that great, honestly. I don't see what the hype is about there at all. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to the video notes, get them inside the AI Success Lab. And if you want to get a community with 1,800 serious AI builders, who are testing this stuff out. You can see that as soon as a new update comes out, straight onto it, and we post about it inside the Alcoff forums. You can see people sharing wins and that sort of thing. And here's what I would say. It was useful, but it could be a lot better. If you want to see what actually works right now, feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boarding. Comes with all my best playbooks and automations, as you can see. So for example, if you want to learn how we create AI avatar videos, that's inside the AI Profit Boarding. If you want to learn all the automations that help me grow my business, then that's inside it too. If you want to get clients, for example, we've got a full agency course. If you want to learn how to do AI SEO, we have a full automation course there. And we also have a full automation course on how to automate YouTube in just six weeks. On top of that, we have coaching calls four times a week. So you can get coaching, help, support, et cetera, advice on live calls. And you can join the community and really be part of something where we're growing and learning and winning together. We also have a limited time offer on right now. So if you sign up now, you will get all of this stuff, right? One of the things that I think is really useful is every week, my team burns about over 80 hours, testing tools, AI workflows, and most of trash, but a few are game changers. And we give you a five minute breakdown of exactly what to use, what to avoid, and what to copy. And it's all inside the AI profit ordering. On top of that, you get DM access to me, you get unlimited VIP tech support, you get daily accountability groups, and you also get the live streams with us as well. So feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom, link inside the comments in the description.